Listen to this lad. We in Paris, smack bang of course. And we're walking around, smashing crepes lad. I'll tell you something bro, this place is chaos. This place is chaos. It's hectic but I thought, you know what, cars I had a sauce of all the things, the food that, that France is famous for in Paris. What am I gonna eat, croissants? Frog legs, snails, we done that already. That's boring cuz, there's probably heaps. But we found four of the best, uh, making crepes, all sorts of crepes. We'll just go there, we'll go for a mad walk. This is what we'll do. We'll go for a mad walk through the whole streets all around here for ages. We'll stop at these places one by one, there's four of them. Smash the best crepes they have and find some little bonuses on the way, bruh. Some little goods on the way. That's what we're doing, cuz. And I'm right down in the middle of the city. Right down in the middle of the old part. Like Notre Dame's over there, the hunchback, he's just kicking back over there. El Chabelle, Je Mappelle's over there, and Je Mappelle is over there in the Eiffel Tower. They're the only things I know, lad. <laughs> All right, quickly, if you want to support the show, you love It's All Eats, we got merch, we got jumpers, we got shirts I showed you, we got orange, we got black, we got white, we got black and white hoodies. Buy something, support the journey, let's ouch. Straight out, best buildings I've ever seen in a city. Best buildings. All the buildings, they're like this white, you see the color? Like a light sandstone color, almost white. Not white like grease. But this cut the whole city cuz every single building is like a work of art. It's the best. But all Shemapel jokes aside, the first place we're going to is named Chez Suzette. That's the name of the first place. Not that far, it's about 15 minutes walk from here. Two streets away, long streets though. Ah, look at this building, cuz. That looks cracker. Why how cracker's that building? It's a Wednesday, by the way. Wednesday, 7 p.m. Wednesday, 7 p.m. So you know what it's like, what day, what time. Might take a detour up this way. Let's cut up this way. Not that I've been. Hopefully one day they'll allow me. 10 plus years, no criminal charges. I'm on a roll, mate. Let me in to New York. But this sort of reminds me from what I see of videos, pictures of New York, you know? I could be completely wrong. <laughs> Maybe I'm just seeing Hollywood sets and it's not the real New York. But that's what, that's what it reminds me of. Bruh. What am I coming up to? I'm telling you, you know how you know like, the same as me, you know the Eiffel Tower and then Arc de Triomphe. That's all I know too. You walk past buildings that are worthy of being like world landmarks every couple blocks. You have no idea what it is and they're everywhere. Look at this in front of me. We're walking past that anyway. And it's not Notre Dame, it's not the Hunchback. He's over there. He's more over there near my motel. I don't know if you can get a feel for how big this thing is. Looking on the camera, it makes things seem real far and small. This thing is massive, bro. It's like, Maybe four of St. Mary's Cathedrals in Sydney City in High Park. Wait there, I'm gonna hear some type of party going on. Detour, detour. Ah, what's going on here, lad? Hey, <laughs> that's old. Look at me, 
lady at the front in the orange hat, he's full loving it. He's in the zone. So he's peeking off his head. Watch. He's watching me. He's watching me filming him. Uh, he's watching me. He's, I'm, I'm filming him now. See him there? He's loving it. <laughs> he pulled up, I sure he pulled up. He was going off before, he seen me with my little, you know, DJI, and he was like, he went all mellow, he went all shy, didn't he? Bro, look at this guy's break dancing. That's huge, lad. Bro, this place is pumping, cuz. Have a look at this thing. Have a look at that, man. I actually don't know what it is. Like your first instincts would think it's like a, a cathedral or a church, but there's nothing religious on it. Except right at the top, right at the top, top, top is a little cross. That's it. Like right on top. Regardless of what it is, it's a fucking cracker building. See if I can read what it is on it. Uh, why did I think it was going to be in English? <laughs> what was I thinking then? I was going to walk up and read it. Crepes. You know, I've never been a fan of crepes. You know, in general, I'm not a sweets, desserty person. Five years ago, I hated desserts and stuff. Now, can't lie, mate. I'm getting a bit out of control. <laughs> what better place to make me fall in love with crepes than the home of the crepe? And if it doesn't happen here, it's not going to happen anywhere. If I don't like crepes after tonight, Paris's top-rated crepes. If I don't like it after tonight, then I'll just quit forever. Like, I'll never have another crepe. <laughs> True? What's the point? Look at the buildings, cars. If it was Jane up, look. What is this? All right, I like S series Mercedes. They're nice. S anything Mercedes. <laughs> Bro, the cafes are so beautiful. Every cafe, whatever restaurant, it's like an old school painting. Someone sat there and, and drew the most romantic, perfectly lit, nicely colored cafe with cute little people in it. And it's an oil painting. And every single cafe is like that. Look, bro. Look. This city really is something out of a painting. Left in 165 meters on Ur. Alright, we're going left up here. I think they're skating here. Oh, look at this skate park, bro. That's mad. Look at that, though. Because how hectic is that? Middle of the city, in a lane, they turn it into a skate park. Let's take some tips, cuz. That's hectic. I'll tell you something about Europe in general. Well, Western Europe so far, my travels, I've noticed. 
their hours of function, it's different. You know, like eight o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning, these people look like they're still waking up. There was coffee shops, they don't even open to 8.30. Cars, 5.45, I'm looking for a coffee. <laughs> they open their coffee shops at like 8.30. People walk around sleepy at nine, but then they're up until late. Their existence is like three hours shifted. I wonder, I wonder if that's for better or worse. Wake up, get out of the house about 8.39, and then they're still out in the streets 10 o'clock. Maybe it's better. I prefer getting up early though, before the sun, and getting in the bed cozy when the sun's down, brother. Nice and cozy. That's the cozy way, isn't it? Surely I'm close. It's just down there. I had a feeling, because I have a look. You know what I mean? Went all like, cool. It went all cool. It turned into the type of place that you'd think a top rated crepatorium would be. Wow, look at this place. Full pump, and eh? All right, so apparently it's right here in front of us. Well, there's a crepery. Oh, it is that. Look, Chez Suzanne. We're here. What do I call it? Crepatorium. <laughs> crepery, crepery. All right, let's suss this. We're here, brother. You know what? When you're overseas, don't expect there to be an English alternative to everything. You know how we just presume because English is the pumped up scooter language all over the world, you know what I mean? It's the best language, this, that, lad. We just got it down pat, this, that. But when you go places, they don't want to participate with English. They don't want to participate. Some places, yeah, if it's full tourist, like Barcelona had like a lot of English. Everything had an English alternative. Some places, but nah, like Portugal, no English. Here, pff, maybe if you're just, where we started, some English here, cars. I'm just letting you know, bro, so you get around, bro, so you know, you need Google Translates. What am I reading? I went back to the same bloody menu. It's still not English. <laughs> what are we gonna do? You know what? I've seen, you know how you can sort of make out words like le onion and you think, all right, that's onion, you know what I mean? I just seen like the top of that had all savory things. Don't tell me crepes are gonna become burgers and hot dogs. I'm not in the mood for that. I'm mentally prepared for ice cream and Nutella. <laughs> For Easter show crepes, eh? <laughs> for bogan crepes. <laughs> Can I get uh, vanilla ice cream, Nutella, and the little nut sprinkles? <laughs> That's what I'm mentally prepared for. I don't know, cuz let's just get whatever. I'm gonna put you away for a sec. I said, is there English alternative to the menu? She said, yeah, you gotta scan it. So bear with me while I do a scan a roux. All right. I got the menu up. La Sauge. Banana splits, uh, veg ice creams, milkshakes, smoothies, galette of bio, wheat, gluten free. Get out of here. I'll smash your menu to pieces. Get the gluten free away from me. Sweet wheat crepes. All right. Butter, sugar, Nutella. It is what I thought. <laughs> it's actually that, cuz. Dark chocolate, Nutella. Kinder Maxi Nutella. Nutella banana almonds. Um. How do I say this one? Bell Helene. Bellilen. Bellilen. Can I get that please? Yeah. And also Nutella almonds, banana chantilly. Do you want everything at the same time or do you want me to bring the first one? I'll bring it the same time. Yeah, the same, same time, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the a drink. Lemonade. Lemonade, yeah. Thank you. Travel the entire earth for Chez Suzette. Oh, this is when the Thank you. Bellele, thank you. Nutella, banana, almonds, shillelagh, the bellele, the, the, the bellele, 
Yum! Have a look at them cards. We're talking about cards. So just see what this is like, lad. So shellele just means whipped cream, right? That we figured. <laughs> Bro, that is gone. But you know what? It's exactly what your finger tastes like. The crepe is hot and fresh. It tastes like a pancake, but thinner. Tastes gone. And the rest is what you think it's like. Almonds, Nutella banana, and shellelie cream. Tastes gone, cuz. What are you gonna say, lad? But to be honest, I feel like that's so straightforward that it's pretty much what you would get if you cooked it in your kitchen. At the end of the day, how's it going to be different? Are they going to bougie up the bananas or make that in Nutella? It's not, cuz. It's like, it is what it is, and, but that's what I ordered, true? So what's it going to be? This one is a more, more unique, cuz. You know what I mean? This one's got a lot more chance of being like, like, fah, you know what I mean? Because there's like a process to the to the pears and this and that, you know? So we'll see how it goes. I'm trying to keep my elf made downikins because people are arriving and they're looking at me like, who is this bloke? Why is he talking to himself? Get out of here, you stupid Aussie. There's a French woman looking at me right now thinking, get out of here, you stupid Aussie. Stop looking at me. You wanna have, nah, now he's gonna stare off me. <laughs> right, that's Oge. Oh, this one's dark chocolate, it's not Nutella. I probably think Nutella's better, but anyway, let's get on with it. Oh, oh, I don't know, cuz. I don't know, I'd like. Cuz, that pear tastes like alcohol. It tastes like um, fermented. It's not, I'm just saying, it tastes like that, relax. Don't stab me. That one's oopay, lad. Straight oopay. Let me have <laughs> finish off with a, a mouthful of this one before we hit the road. So we leave on a high note, cuz. Otherwise, I have to go buy chewing gum. Relax. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right on. Lemnos. Straight seven up. Let's hook it. All right. No stains on their shirt. That was a move and a half. By the way, I don't know if I said the price. The Bell Hen was 9.30. The other one was 8.30. And the lemonade was 4.20. But it's a D lemonade, cuz. Wow. So the whole thing was like 24 bucks, whatever. The, the one, that one crepe was all right. The, the, the Nutella banana crepes, they were all right. The basic ones, they were nice. The other one was straight rubbish. The pear tasted like alcohol. I bit it, it tastes like, ugh, what was that? Then this dark chocolate, that's debatable. Straight off the bat, anything with dark chocolate is like, ugh. And then, I don't know, cars, almonds, that was poo. Don't ever get that. If you go there and you're gonna get that, give yourself an uppercut instead, save your money. And then the lemonade, 420, did you see the little lemonade? It was like a little Sprite. It was a little seven up. It was a 300 mil seven up, 420. It's eight dollars, Australian. Eight Australian dollars. Well, wow. all right, next posse. There's a mad sunset behind me. Ooh.
at the beautiful gold accents on the windows up here. Look at the gold frames. That's gun. And look at this whole courtyard actually. What a building though. What a building. Look at the side of it. <laughs> yeah, I just had a funny idea. When I do any episode, because I'm doing, you know, those walk in the hoods, in the hood episodes, I'm doing more solo cars. Like, cars, I'm not going around with a bunch of people or any locals. So I just had this idea, right? If I ever get usted, if I ever get busted by like the lads that live there, you know, they come out like, going on like that, and I'll just be like, I'll pretend that I'm like some type of, um, like I, like I survey buildings and, and survey the quality of buildings and that. Like, if I see them come up, I'll just be like, oh, and here, and here the, you know, the upright and the, and the piping is not that great. And oh, like that. And they're like, what are you doing, mate? And I'm just, ah, just the buildings, put out little clipboards, you know, every building, you know, inspector. <laughs> Best throw off. I wear a high vis vest. Actually, what are ID cars? I wear a high vis vest. And have a little pen in my ear. We do hood tours like that. Bruh! No one will say nothing. Nothing. Look at this bloke, he's here repairing stuff. He works for the government. <laughs> they come up to me, I'll go up to them. Well, what unit do you live in, mate? What are you doing around here? <laughs> 350 more meters straight ahead. There is a advanced metro system here. I caught the train started in the subway and ended up on the out external tracks to Disneyland this morning. I looked at the railway map. It's a really mad uh, train system actually. And there's metro stations are everywhere. Hard Rock Cafe. They're everywhere bro. I want to look up the name of this place that we're going, so... La Creme de Paris. That's what it's called. It's just up here. 90 meters ahead of us. La Creme de Paris. This looks like a mad straight. Busy main street, it seems. Oh, look in there, lad. Adlai. Hurus. Hey, what are you doing, mate? Hey, <laughs> Cafe Oz. The Australian bar, lad. Bah, we gotta look at the Australian bar, lad. Like. You reckon it's full Aussie? You reckon it's so Aussie I can walk in here talking pig ladder and I'll know what's going on? I walk in there, what are you doing, Adlai? Oh, it's like a rugby union bar. The Australian bar. See, he's got a rugby union ball in his mouth. All right. Because rugby union's a thingy in France too, like They like rugby union too here. Everyone sounds like they're talking French though. They don't sound like they're talking Australian in there, lad. Il Che. And then I seen the menu, it was like Indian. I don't know, cuz. Look mad. Hey, so so Australian, I walk in there. We're doing that play, fight this, that, you know, walk up, fight one of them, mate, you know. <laughs> He's just talking like full accent, eh, hey, bro? Walking like this, hey, doing it, bro? What, what feed you got? Yeah, look for feed, bro. <laughs> what? So Indian? What's these cars? Hill Chai lad. I want four burgers, this and that. <laughs> full Aussie, that's real Aussie. If you're watching me from another country, you might, that's full Aussie. All right, where is this place? What's it called again? Le Creme de Paris, that's what it's called. Bro, this corner looks happening, cars. Look at this. I feel like my, my senses are telling me it's around this corner. It's another cool corner. And I feel like Paris is top crepes, forgot what we're eating. 
would reside here. Guys, it's supposed to be here somewhere. It's supposed to be here somewhere. <laughs> Mate, I got this much. <laughs> Everyone looked at me. <laughs> I stopped halfway for a sentence then. Everyone looked at me like, what the hell? <laughs> I was going to say, Mate, I got this much patience. I'll let you have, you know? I was going to carry on. <laughs> there was like four people there. They all looked at me. I'm just gonna ask them for their best crepes, lad. I'm just gonna straight out ask them, what's your best crepes, bro? Give me two, three of them. I'll let you choose. Well, cuz. Well. <laughs> oh, you can get takeaway too, lad. You can take away. Well. Yum, lad. Let's go. Alright, let's go in here. I'm gonna go in and get a food, bro. Let's cut. But like I told you, I'm just gonna tell them I want the best crepes. Even if they're not sweet, even if they're savory, I don't care, cuz. One of each, eh? One of each. Oh, yeah. Can I get your most popular crepes? Uh, it would be the pastry and red fruits. Cream pastry and red fruits, okay. Uh, what about our oh, savory crepes? What's the most popular one? If you like the smoked salmon. Smoked salmon? Or if you get all right, I'll get those two. Smoked salmon and uh, cream pastry red fruits. Yes, please. Uh, and can I get an Americano, please? Americano? Yeah. Oh, can I hold on to this? Yeah. I don't know, you've probably heard the yarn. The cream pastry with red fruits, 750 euros. And then I said the savory one, and she said the smoked salmon lemon chives cream, 11 euros. I just agreed because, look, I said, what's your most popular one? Get me that. I hate smoked salmon, lad. Smoked salmon. That's poo, lad. I hope it's good. Smoked salmon. Salmon is debatable enough. Even nice salmon. Smoked salmon? Oh, bruh. It's like something 80 year olds eat. But anyway, we'll see how it goes on a crepe with lemon chives. Ugh. And then I got Americano. Because we're halfway through, right? This is place two. So I need a little booster. I'm looking forward to the red fruits one. Oh, they bring out the savory first. I think they're gonna bring them out separately. I, I sort of wanted them together so I can go on with the show, but anyway. But that looks like rubbish, lad. I'm not even gonna lie here. No, and people sat right next to me too, so. It even smells like rubbish, lad. Bro, I'm spewing. I'm spewing. Let's taste it, bro. Look. Bro, it's... Mm. Never want to eat these cars. Yuck. Yuck. Cars, it's so yuck, bro. There. There you go. Wholemeal pancake, big chunk of smoked salmon, and sour cream and chives, bro. It's not as bad as I thought, but it's chat. It's not putrid, but it's chat. It's yuck, bro. <laughs> Never had enough of that, cuz. Look, what's that, cuz? Yeah, look, look how much bread there is. There's so much pancake and there's just this little thing in the middle, cuz. It's full bodge, lad. Why'd I even get that? Hey, <laughs> bodgy pancakes, lad. Salmon pancakes. What are you talking about, cuz? Who even put that on the menu, bro? Someone needs a snap kick around here. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm not trying to be funny or nothing. That's full poo, lad. Straight out, cuz. How does she even suggest that? So what happens when you put your faith in people, cuz? Hehehe, <laughs> getting dramatic, eh? You're done with it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. Wow. 
All right, beautiful. Thank you. Oh, man. This is proper. Right as heck, big. Well, cuz. Berries, strawberries. What are they called? Does anyone else call them mulberries? Blackberries. Blueberries. What are they? I don't know what those little red berries are. Cream and jam. This is gonna be lovely. Oh, lad. Wow, that's hectic. Right, even the, the crepe on this one, it's like the, the crepe, the actual crepe itself has a, like a buttermilk taste, like a toffee taste. Well, guys. Oh, look at that, lad. Overdose. It's OG. Oh, lad. Um. Oh, oh. Bro, that's the best crepe by far, lad. By far, lad. I'm just eating toppings at this point. All right, one more, one more big bite of the crepe. Some more strawberry. Wow, cars, look. Oh, 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 oh. They're watching. I'm just go away. Let me sing. Let me sing, man. Stop looking at me. Mate is looking straight at me. Oh. <laughs> Cream and red berries. Crepe. Cause that was the full gun. $7.50. Well, seven euros fifty, whatever that is. Wake up to yourself. Let's cut. Some Americanos, all right? Whoa, that's a spicy meatball. Let's go. All right, let's cut. The next place is called Galba. G A L B A R, and it's actually not far from here. It's like literally like five minutes walk from here. Bah! Look at this place at night, cars. Since we had those crepes, it went like, it's getting dark. Bro, I'm telling ya, I reckon Paris at night would just look cracker. Because they always use these dark, see these reds and these golds and that? Like all man, all their man plays are gold and wooden and red. I reckon at night it'd just be the most vibrant, maddest vibe. Oh, this place is only a few streets away. It's probably swearing at me. Come here, what? I'm getting here. You know what I noticed? Different cities react to a man walking around with a camera in different ways. And I think it's really dependent on how much tourism is a thing in that city. In Portugal, they were spinning out on me. In Barcelona, they didn't care from what I seen anyway. But my vibe, I could just walk through anywhere with a... They just look at me, look at a camera and just look at me like normal. Like, yeah, what do you want? Like, what do you want to buy? Portugal, they were spinning out, right? I know put. Tourism's a thing in Portugal, but not as much as Barcelona. Here, they're spinning out a little bit. They're spinning out a little bit. Not as much as um, Portugal, but definitely a lot more than Barcelona. And even though you'd say like, oh, but tourism is a thing here in Paris, of course it is, but it's proportionate. Like what proportion of people in these streets are tourists? None. <laughs> the only tourist here in these streets, do you know what I mean? Maybe if you go down the, you know, like Eiffel Tower, it's like one to one. It's so like if you see um, someone with, with a camera like this walking along Bondi Beach, you know, it's there, no one cares. But if you see someone walking through Bankstown with this, you're gonna be like, oh, look at this black. Look at this undercover fed. Go bash this black now. Nah. <laughs> but true, you'll be like, what are you doing, lad? There it is. There it is. Galba. See him? I found you. There you are. There you are. Wow. Galba, lad. Oh, what? The crepes come in like cups, lad. Look. They come in like carbs. Creme brulee, crepe, is that a crepe? Oh, bro, look at that, cars. I'm getting this one. Bro, it's a meringue crepe. Citron meringue. 
I reckon that'd be like a lemon, lemon meringue. That's probably gun. I won't like that, so I'm not gonna get it because I don't want to sit here and complain like the smoked salmon. That's beautiful, mate. Right, because it, I understand that lemon meringue. Crepe is probably nice, not for me. I reckon I want to get this one. And look at it. And the creme brulee one. Oh, there's more cars. What are you talking about, cars? No way. Oh, they're savory ones, though. No more savory ones. Just straight sweet ones, all right? Just straight sweet ones. Hello. Hey, can I order, please? Can I get creme brulee? Yeah. And Vanny Cara. Vanny Cara, please. Yeah. These ones look mad, cars. Galbar Creperia Paris, let's read them. Wow, it's five star. But everywhere we go, I've got to, you know, like one, one of the lads, he does all the edits, one of the lads does all the organizing, this and that. He picks me all the good stuff. He picked this place five star cars. Even the Google reviews, 4.8 on Google. 490 reviews, it's 4.8. Google's harsh cars. Google, you know, you get, they give you in the. I reckon this place is gonna be gone. Hey, yeah, I'm a cheat. I look at the reviews, I go, yeah, I reckon it's gonna be gone. Hey, I know it's gonna be gone, otherwise I wouldn't have come here, true? We wouldn't have come here otherwise, cars. I told you from the beginning it's gonna be gone. I got it on video, cars. Look up to yourself. They got a little Instagram counter. At the counter there, 20653. I think that's their followers. Look, it counts their followers live, cuz I should be a full loser and um, get one of them in my room. I wake up every day and it's just like 352,175. And let's wake up and go, Yeah, yeah, you're doing good, Spad. All right, your slad. <laughs> anyway, by the way, if you don't subscribe to my Instagram, subscribe to my Instagram. What's wrong with you? You get the um, back backdoor stories there, cuz. You get the back stories of everywhere. Like when I try to do in the hoods and almost get arrested and almost get jumped <laughs> in, in the same five minutes. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Well, look how the grapes come here, cuz. What are you talking about a play, cuz? The piece de resistance, well, didn't they? Let's go, brother. I'll do my own soundtrack, cars to the B-roll. Well, cars, let's get up close and personal with these little bad boys. Well, cars. Well, <laughs> it's a full creme brulee inside there, cars. What are you talking about? Yum. Mmm. Yum, man. Lad, this is Hectos. Look at that. Oh, lad. You know what a creme brulee is, right? Vanilla custard. I see like sugar on top, crispified. <laughs> A few little kisses. That's hectic. Whole thing full of custard. Whole thing. Heavy. Crepe's mad. It's a cool crepe. Mmm. Like. Cuz imagine that. Imagine a creme brulee, but instead of being in a cup, it's in a crepe. It's exactly like a creme brulee, but in a crepe. So you just eat the whole thing. That's better, that's that's uh, evolution of a uh, creme brulee cars. They should all be in crepes now. You know this one. 
To be honest, I forgot what this one was. Oh, right, that's like roasted peanuts with like crumble on the outside, lad. Caramel in there. But it's gonna be gone. Move this out of the way. Get out of the way, creme brulee, but now you've had your two minutes of fame. Wow, cars. Wow. Guys, imagine. Again, vanilla custard, caramel sauce through the whole thing. Roasted, toffied peanuts in and around it. Cuz, I don't know which one's better. This one's better. They're both gone. This one's hectic, man. Well, ooh, I need a breath on. <laughs> oh, no. Halfway down, full of peanuts, lad. Let's oge. That is the best crepe I've ever had, lad. Cause now it makes me think of what their other crepes would have tasted like. They had the lemon meringue one, citron meringue, a ch and a chocoba, and a, a tartan. Tartan. Bro, they were gone. What a concept. This place is winning. But you know what, not to say that last place, the crepes I had at the last place with the red, I can't even remember the first place anymore. <laughs> it just doesn't count anymore. It's out of memory. Shoes, 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 Suzette. I'm not even considering that. Let's never talk about that place again. But the last place, the red berry one, well, the salmon it made me a little bit angry, I'm not gonna lie. I felt like burning the place down, but this one, well, both of those, but that peanut one, the second one, is called the Venicara. Well, cuz, well. Oh, let's cut. Whew. Oh, lad, that was heftos. Well, I'm gonna go to a fourth place now. We're gonna go somewhere else now. Well, I'm dead. I'm dying. Thank you. Oh, lad. Oh, they were hectic. Gal Barkas. Well. All right, let's walk and talk, all right? I'm not gonna stand here and waste time. It's getting dark. This building here, Le Grand Rex. The Big Rex. <laughs> the T-Rex. That's a hectic building, bro. It, it gives me the vibe like it's a cinema where you watch like movies or plays or something. All right, we're still going straight, straight up the street. Next to whatever, up the Rex Street. What a building though, wow, bro. It's hectic, it's full hectic. It is a cinema. Look at the plays they have in here. Batman Day. La Nonne. This place is hectic. Bro, I love Paris, bro, I love it. Wheels Deli going off, lad. <laughs> going on, no customers in there. Just the, just, just the vibe. Bro, I don't know if I can eat more crepes, bro. Bruh, I'm, bruh, I'm so full. Crepes are filling, cuz. I'm walking around letting out sly farts, lad. I'm doing my best here, lad. What are you talking about, cuz? All right, let's oge. Get in the zone, mate. You can do it. Jeez, that's a pretty McDonald's. It's, it's busy as in front of me. I feel like this is a night spot, this street. Look behind me. There's another creep place here. You're not on the list, mate, sorry. Can't fit you all in. Creep places are so common. Look, there's another one right in front of us as we're saying it. Crepuri. Crepuri Bistro.
I feel like this is a tourist spot. Just back there, I don't know if you heard the American bloke. I feel like he's got a lot more problems than I do. Like that? And then in front of me, there's people with luggage. I feel like we're in a little tourist spot here. Full pumping. Full pumping. Look! But that's a whole nother street. What are you talking about? Look! It's a whole nother street again. Like every street is just like the last. Which way is it? It's actually that way. It's actually this way anyway. Thai food. Bah, that place looks cool. Huh? Look at that. How mad does that place look in there? <laughs> That's hectic! <laughs> you know what? Them crepes, bro. But it's too far, lad. It's full 15 minutes more down that bodgy side of the city. <laughs> Never been down there, but let's just say it's bodgy. Bros, I'm walking back towards my motel anyway. Stuff them crepes. My motel's down this way. <laughs> them crepes are that way, lad. And all the, you know, like near the Hotel de Ville and stuff. We'll just go down there, bruh. Smack bangs, better sights anyway. We'll get crepes along the way. We'll admire the sights, the Hotel de Ville. We'll call it quits, mate. Because if I walk all the way 15 minutes that way, I'm going to walk all the way back here, bruh. Bodgy. Crepe store in the middle of nowhere. You should have been with all your mates. <laughs> I'll show you where my motel is too, on my Airbnb. It's hectic. It's hectic. You would never think it, cuz. Full smack bang, cuz. Where we're going now, we'll just go down here and make something up. This is the proper. Wait till I show you Hotel de Ville. I don't know if you know it, it's not a famous place here. Like I know that the famous place Eiffel Tower and the Louvre, the museum, it's probably all you know. It is the most beautiful building I've ever seen in my life. I can't wait to see a better one. I'm not saying it's the best in the world, but I've never seen a better one. Well, I want to film these guys, but I don't know if they're going to shoot me. Bro, there's like four army guys there with big machine guns. Did you say that? <laughs> I was scared to film them. <laughs> what the hell was that? Bro, I'm there filming like, <laughs> filming a sign. I look up. Four army guys, lad. Big machine guns. Like, bro, it's a Call of Duty, lad. Relax. I turn the camera to him slowly. See me slowly turn the camera. And one of them, like the, the African one, he goes like, he just said hello to the camera. <laughs> that was good. Bro, look at this, lad. Bro, what? Bro, look at this building, cuz. What are you talking about? Just kick him back in the lane. Wonder what was going on back there, bro. All jokes aside, they fool caught me off guard, like. Bro, this is my lane. Watch this. The Hotel de Ville is just down here and like the river and stuff where you can Notre Dame. This is my uh, motel. Watch. Bebe! <laughs> She's <been> a kicking. <laughs> that was my sister. She opened it, looked at the camera. Laters. They're Shane. They don't want to open the door. She looks back at the, she screams at the window, don't put that in, staying in. <laughs> but anyway, look where that is, uh, bomb. Boom. There it is. See, so that's our lane. Boom. Watch this building, bro. And we're going to get one more feed. I don't care if it's crepes, who cares what it is, let's just get something. Crepes, I had enough crepes, bro. 
Anyway, those crepes were mad, I'm not gonna lie about those, you don't lie about that, not me, not white cars. Wow, look at that. Look at this lad. Tell me that ain't the sickest building. The size of it, cuz. Every single window has this crazy statue. Each statue is individual on either side of it. It's mental. Every centimeter of this building is the full masterpiece. Like, bro, what is that? I had to show you that. I had to show, even today I was thinking tonight when I film, I have to show him that building. I don't know if you can see here. Can you see right on top of my finger, that church steeple? That's Notre Dame. See how there's a crane? See the church there and the crane? That's Notre Dame, the one from the movie Quasimodo, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. That's, that's the church there. A few years ago, there was a massive fire and it burnt down half the church. It was like a 500 year old church and they've put billions of dollars into piece by piece, centimeter by centimeter over the course of like 10 years, rebuilding it to exactly what it was using the same pieces. It's crazy what's going on there. But yeah, Notre Dame cuz. Let's go, one more feed, bruh. I'm gonna get this thing back here, these samosas, lad. Rolls, samosas. I'm gonna get these things, cuz. Finish it off with a random, cuz. I'm done with crepes, lad. I'm all creped out, I've told you, cuz. You open, brother? Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Can I get a butter chicken roll, please? Yes. Mango lassi, you got yes. still? Yes. Oh, beautiful. No, no, one, one, one of each. Okay, one Thank you. butter chicken roll, one lassi. Wait, sir, sir. Thank you, card, please. Sweet. Thank you. What a random finish. Butter chicken roll and a mango lassi. I see cars. We gotta finish with some real food cars. Can't just eat chocolate crepes the whole night. We're talking about cars. <laughs> That's age. Real feed. I wanna go back to the motel, have a shower. My feet are sore. That was a big walk, wasn't it? All right? How long have we been going for? No way. Three and a half hours. So my feet are sore, cars. You know what I just remembered? I full hate mango lassie. Why did I get that? I think I'm delirious from all the walking. You know one thing like that I used to hate? Here's a yarn for you. My whole life as a kid, peanut butter, oh, it's the worst thing in the world. One day I'm sitting in jail, Bathurst jail. I don't know when, 2008, 2009, whenever, something. And I was full starving. The only thing that was left was peanut butter sandwiches. Cars, I had to pump them. I didn't enjoy it, but I pumped them because I was starving. And now I can cop peanut butter. It's not the greatest, but I can cop peanut butter. So sometimes well, you just gotta eat something and you just like re rewire your brain, you know? Ready, thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. And the lassie. Thank you, Bella. Bye. Let's go. Oh, we can do it. Let's, let's, let's pump this here because it's nice and light. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh my God, bro. 24,000 steps, bro. <laughs> Look at that. Let's do this, bro. Oh my God, 24,000 steps, bro. What a day. Bro, this looks all right, cars. Looks like it's, it smells like it's on a garlic man. What are you talking about, cars? That's gone. Mm. That's that's nice. That's hectic. There's like there's like curry veggies in there. But you know what? It's nice, but I just noticed it's not butter chicken. That's curry chicken. That just has like curry chicken and veggies on bread. Don't get me wrong, that's nice. Tastes like something that you know, drunk people eat. 
<laughs> and drunk people, they eat weird, weird shit. Tastes like that, bro. Like a drunk person's feed. Tastes all right, cuz. Mate, I'm half drunk already, delirious. Anyway, I can't eat it. It's spicy, I can't eat it, I'm just not hungry. <laughs> I'm not hungry. Mango lassi. Don't kill me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure lassi is a yogurt based drink. It is, it's yogurt, it's mango yogurt. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. It's mango flavored yogurt. I feel with milk. I don't know exact process, but let me explain it to you. If you get mango and yogurt, you add milk to it to make it more runny consistency so it's drinkable. That's what that tastes like. It tastes nice, actually. I wonder what happened last time I had a mango last year. Anyway, bro, I'm dumping this. Where's the bin? There, they're over there. I'm out, bro. I just filmed the lady just pissing, man. Did you just say that, bruh? What happened there, cuz? Did you just say that? I'm walking away to do the outro. I just see a lady go behind her thing and just psh. She's just there in public, this. Man, what the f***? The whole bladder emptied in like four seconds. What was that? In front of her kids? <laughs> that is like almost the most crack shit I've ever seen. Ah, oh, is there anyway. What a crack note to finish on. I'm off. Anyway, oh, geez, that's Paris, mate. That's full Paris in a nutshell, cuz. That's crepes in Paris, plus a fake butter chicken roll and a mango lassi, cuz. Paris is hectic. All jokes aside, Paris is mad, mate. Let's urge.